Think about it. We've sent satellites beyond our solar system. We've walked on the moon and will soon do the same on Mars. But we've missed one important task. And it'll take a bright mind like yours to make it happen. What if we swam on the moon? Alright, near future, you were born in an era of technological advancement and ingenious creativity. You've become a smart entrepreneur. But there's one problem. So has everyone else in this society. On future Earth, any possible innovation has already been made a reality. 6D printers, dream recording devices, augmented reality lenses that turn your living room into the movie you're watching or the game you're playing. If you're going to keep up, you need a brilliant idea. You go for a sail in your yacht to get some quiet thinking time. That's when inspiration comes from an unexpected source – dolphins. Wouldn't it be cool if people could jump out of the water like that? You put aside fantasies and think about this question more realistically. What does a person need? Motorized flippers to increase the swimming speed? Nah, it's inconvenient and inefficient. They depend on some kind of fuel. You look at the sky, and that's when ingenuity strikes. Gravity! If there were less, you should be able to jump higher out of the water. At this moment, you decide to build the first-ever pool on the moon. Could it work? How different would lunar swimming be? Ah, you must find out! As fate would have it, the rest of society has started looking into the stars as well. Space tourism kicks off around this time. Flights to the moon with panoramic windows, movies in space. Now hiring for lunar construction projects. You need to make this dream a reality or someone's going to take it from you. Here's the plan. Get your business name and trademark. Moon Splash Inc. How's that sound? Well, it's a work in progress. Take the next spaceship to the moon and buy a plot of land. The pool needs to feature a beautiful view of Earth and the starry sky. Next, construct a sealed building. You need oxygen inside, but you still want lunar gravity. Otherwise, your new idea of moon swimming will just turn into earth swimming, and that's not fun or fresh. The walls must be transparent, like a giant bubble. Oxygen, gravity, water… Did you miss anything? Oh, temperature! There's almost no atmosphere here, so energy from the sun hits the surface with full force. Temperatures can range from minus 280 degrees at night to plus 260 degrees during the day. It would freeze and evaporate all the pool water instantly. Install AC and central heating. Got it. Fill the pools, hire staff, final touches. After a few months, Moon Splash is up and running. Before you start inviting guests, there's one last but most important thing to do. Test it yourself. You come inside the giant sphere and remove your spacesuit. You take a deep breath. Ah, oxygen's working. Temperature feels good. The view of the Earth is magnificent. It's like a ball bopping out of an ocean of black. Now, the moment of truth. 3, 2, 1. You run to the pool in slow motion and jump. Whoa! You go way up, about 10 feet in the air. The gravity, remember? You think to yourself, install a safety net near the ceiling just in case. You hang for a few seconds before coming back down. Here we go! Splash! Hmm, in the water, there's nothing too special. It feels like you jumped into a swimming pool on Earth. Physics can't explain it. How you float in the water depends only on your body's density compared to the waters, not on gravitational force. It's why whales can get so massive. They don't have to hold themselves up against gravity. You come to the surface and what you see is amazing. The water drops from your epic lunar splash are still in the air. The low gravity doesn't pull them down immediately like on Earth. Now time for the real test. The whole reason you came up with the idea in the first place. Will you leap from the water like a dolphin? You dive again, swim to the bottom, and push off it with all the strength in your legs. You jump out of the water and go about 3 feet in the air. Cool! Now, let's try it with flippers. Whoa, 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 too high! Mental note, do not forget ceiling safety net. 
You get out of the pool to write down all your thoughts and to-do list. That's when you notice the water seems to stay stuck on you. Gravity doesn't pull the drops down, so they don't trickle off like on Earth. Note, we'll need lots of towels. Moon gravity sure is something. Here it's only one-sixth of Earth's gravity. You can jump six times higher. Throw any object six times further. And you weigh six times less, which makes you wonder. Could you run on the water? You try it with your bare feet. Mm, nope, didn't work. Then you put your flippers on, get a good running start, and whee! You're a basculus lizard! It's official! This is a great idea, and it'll be a booming business. Time to open her up to the public. Just as you predicted, Moon Splash is a major success. You open several more pools within the following year. Thousands of people want to feel like dolphins and water lizards. But, of course, competitors have also started opening their own moon pools. They're bigger, better, and more luxurious. So you need to stay ahead of this curve. The answer comes to you naturally – sport. People are competitive by nature. They love watching others compete. It's perfect. You'll start with reverse high diving. You install a special springboard on the bottom of the pool so an athlete can better push off from it. You build a high tower at the poolside. An athlete must jump out of the water to reach it. The higher they reach on the tower and the smaller the splash they produce when they do come back down, the more points they get. They also do acrobatic tricks on the way up. Before you know it, you've hired trainers, recruited potential champions, got all the necessary equipment. Competitions follow, and soon the reverse high dive becomes a new Olympic sport. Running on water is also gaining popularity. You build long water paths several feet long. Athletes run marathons in special flipper-like shoes. But your competitors start pushing you out yet again. They create huge sports stadiums on the moon. Your customers flock to them. But you're not going to give up. You create several other water entertainment activities. Moon water polo, lunar saunas, water parks, moon pool parties. The number of lunar tourists has increased tenfold. Now, you want something more like Moon Splash. You decide to create the first lunar lake. A huge dome filled with oxygen covers a safari-sized plot of land. There's a beach, the lake of course, cozy cabins, restaurants, stores. Almost perfect. But it feels like you're missing something. Something beautiful. Colorful, breathtaking sunrises and sunsets. We enjoy those gorgeous pink, purple, and orange hues on Earth because the sun's rays pass through the molecules in the atmosphere. Well, the moon has almost no atmosphere, so there aren't any of those color-scattering filters. On the moon, day, night, sunrise, sunset, it doesn't matter. The sky stays black. That might get old and monotonous for guests. So you engineer the dome's glass to paint the sky during dusk and dawn. You've come full circle. You remember the day you came up with the idea of Moon Splash? Look at you now! You might not be on your yacht in the sea, but sailing on the lunar lake is just as peaceful. And instead of dolphins, you watch people jump out of the water. But there's nervousness hiding behind your tranquil smile. You know your competitors are always on your tail, which means you need to move on. So what's next? The answer comes quickly. You decide to build a new water empire on Mars.